wild island is gone. Came out to the garden this afternoon for the first time in quite a bit of time to just kind of enjoy it versus needing to get anything done. And I had a few little tomatoes that were ready, a couple cayenne peppers. So I figured I would just take you guys on a quick walkthrough of what's left here. The sweet potatoes have really started to get some vigorous growth now that I have pulled all of the corn out of this box. Um, I believe these are pumpkin plants that I started right here for the buyers that are coming in. And I'm still kind of debating if I want to harvest at least a handful of sweet potatoes. So I might dig a few and leave a few for um, the buyers that are coming in. And there are a couple more melons, I mean pumpkins, down in here. The zinnias are starting to bloom. They look really nice. Our sunflowers are finishing up, so I will pull these last couple stalks before we leave um, in a month or so. And there's also some ginger back here. This right here is ginger that um, I'm going to be harvesting soon. Got a handful of onions left and I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull these. And we'll do something with them soon. So I'll add these to the basket. And they ended up getting little bulbs on them, which was nice. So I've made onion soup out of them. Um, I have dehydrated greens. I think I've got like three or four quarts of greens. I didn't realize how many I had left. <laughs> so maybe I won't pull all of them. There's still another handful left. So I might make a little salad with these and the uh, tomatoes that I already picked. Let's add these to the bowl. So I've got my tomatoes and cayenne right there. onions up here at this point they're probably past their prime but because we aren't going to be here much longer I'm not going to start anything new so if they continue to produce that'll be great if not it's fine um what else is going on in this bed I do see a little basil plant that's gotten started and I also started some melons in this bed. So here's one right there. And another couple right in here. This one back here. These are the beans that we started from our midnight black turtle beans, painted pony beans that I harvested that were kind of already open and I wasn't really sure if they were gonna pollinate, I mean, germinate or not, but they did. So there's a second round of beans coming up for the um, buyers who will be moving in. There are more melons and pumpkins going and there's still a couple of cucumber plants in here also. The cucumbers are looking um, a little bit better. I have gotten a couple of cucumbers off of them. Not a whole ton, but I did start um, some new cucumber plants as well. So those will be staying here. And the peppers have definitely started to get some more color with the organic plant food and the fact that all of the sunflowers are out of this bed now. So a lot of the foliage was this yellowish green color. As you can see, the new foliage coming in is a lot darker in color. So we picked a couple of cayennes. Um, it's a little jalapeno coming in. Another one in the back here. We do have some... These are banana peppers. I do have some shishito that are ready. Let's see if we can get these. And a 
few shishito peppers. Buy these to the bowl. And this last bed, I came in with some more beans, cut back. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't plant beans here. I came in with more melons. So they're coming in, and I really just put them in these blank spaces right here. Some of these bean plants are still producing. Some of them are a little past their prime, and then this lemon balm right here is still doing fairly well. So I'm saving that for drying. Um, little sunflowers finishing up. The hummingbirds are loving the red zinnias, and so am I. It's really cool because they get tall enough that we can see them from the kitchen table, so I can watch the hummingbirds feed from the table. This squash plant is past its prime. It's done, there were pickle worms in it. I pretty much just left it because I have a hard time pulling plants. So I do them slowly, but um, that definitely needs to come out soon. It's got powdery mildew. It's not producing, so it needs to go. And then I started some more flowers up front over here. So there's more zinnias more pumpkins and melons is pretty much what I've been filling in all the blank spaces with. The cosmos bloomed and they're going a bit crazy from the plant food. So we've got pink cosmos. The dill is finishing up so I've been saving seeds from this. So this is what the dill seed looks like. And I will just come out, take this off, shake those seeds into a bag, and then I've got dill seeds for next year. And Archer and I came in and we planted more nasturtiums down here. So here's the start of that. Snapdragon's trying to come back. More nasturtium. And our parsley is looking real nice. So I need to come in and pull some of this for drying. weeds down here and that's about it the yard feels very different without all of my extras and it's just very different knowing that I won't be here to you know harvest a lot of the stuff that's just starting or finishing up but it's a good problem to have. Quick little bouquet of zinnias. It's about to storm, so I'm taking this harvest inside. Things are really moving right along and we will be out at the property before we know it. So I just wanted to give you guys an update on what the yard and the garden are looking like here at the house and um, we will probably be shooting a quick property update video soon. That's it. We'll see you guys soon. Bye.